Hi, welcome back to BusyBots. I want to show you something different today. Instead of just the printer and printing, I want to show you some of the finished products, or actually not the finished products, which is kind of the point. It's all the parts, all the pieces, all the little bits and pieces of all the different projects. And what happens is you go to Thingiverse and you see something that looks intriguing and you think, oh, I'll print one of those, I'll print two of those. And the parts, uh, the parts come off and you get off onto the next print job and and uh, then you end up in a situation like this. And so I'm going to take some time and start putting all the, these things together. And I thought you might like to see. So let's see what we have here. Um, I have a couple of Mars rovers. These are the Mars Curiosity rovers. I've got two. They're the same. I printed one in, one in black and one in silver. And I, I did that because I thought I wanted to have the, um, the wheels in black and I wanted to offset the color with the body and silver and some of the other parts, some of the uh, accessories, little cameras, doodads, whatnot on top of the rover. I've got um, a couple of robots. These are that's a, called a block bot. Uh, it folds up into a cube. Looks like a Rubik's cube, but when you unfold it, it's a robot. And I've got one in blue, one in silver. Got a differential to I'll do a little bit of sanding on here, and then um, we put it together. But uh, well, it's just an iPad stand. I have to remove the the raft, and I wanted to do a clean job instead of just tearing it off. I wanted to sand it and clean it up. Uh, what else we have here? A steam engine. There's the flywheel. Different parts of the stand. Here's the uh, piston and cylinder, uh, even a little hose bar for the uh, hooking up the air tube. What else do we have? Chess sets. I scaled it up. I mostly uh, started to assemble this one. This is part of it, the chess set robot. And here's, I think, I think this is two parts for two or possibly even three in there. Um, Let's see what do I have here. A couple of Raspberry Pi cases. Let's put the Raspberry Pi board in there. There's some parts for a. It's a. It's a. How does this go together? It's a battery holder for AA batteries. It's a, a dispenser. I've got to mount it somehow, and the batteries run down the channel. They come out. I keep my charged batteries there, ready to go. What's this? Oh, this doesn't need any assembly. This is a bracelet. Nice design there. And a trilobite. I've got, uh, this is the, the head of the trilobite. It's on the wrap. And a number of pieces. Uh, oh, <laughs> a lot of pieces. And I did also, I did blue and silver. And I, I printed this one out um, so I can alternate the body parts between silver and blue. I thought that would look interesting. And so I've got my work cut out for me. This is quite a bit of assembly. Uh, imagine that the, the steam engine probably take a fair amount of... Um, fitting, maybe some sanding, trial and error there. And there you go. Oh, last thing, last thing. What is this? Uh, so Scorpion, I believe. I'll have to look it up. I'll, I'll put links for everything down there uh, below the video. And I'll also probably roll in some other uh, maybe Thingiverse pages or something as I'm talking to show you. But This is a little kit that I reduced it and I scaled it so that it all fit on one um, plate. So it's kind of small to put together. And that's about it. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll end the video here or if I'll, I'll wait until I get these together and then show you. But at some point, either at the end of this video or some video down the road, I'll show you these, all these things assembled and how they work.